We always got the impression that the Australian boats were serious boats. They were, you know, ultimate kind of hulls you know, to, to, to cope with the worst conditions. That was the point. It, you know, created the demand for the boats to be real boats. That was sort of a badge of honor for us that they, you know, that they wanted us to design a boat that was not just a, a, a frou-frou a kind of toy, you know, which so many boats are. They were all very special to be special boats, and David Blazier was had you know the reputation as the you know top builder. That's for sure. You know, David had the customers, and David would say and the customers tell David what they wanted, and um, we'd say, okay, sure, all right, we'll draw the hull, we'll make it all fit and all work, and then David would beautifully build the boat. What we do here is uh, sell the experience that we've had from all these years and we can pretty much guarantee performance so that so customers feel comfortable coming to us. You know, it's not, not an experiment, don't have to do any tank testing, don't have to do any computer simulations. We have all the, all the data, you know, it'll work. It, the basics all go back to raise DP and as, I don't think anybody has come up with something better yet. And so Ray Hunt, as far as I know, is the only designer to have won a world championship in both power and sail, basically, his designs. Pretty remarkable guy. He, as I said, he was, he was quite cerebral. He was, he, he was, you know, a thinker and an inventor. And he would often, he'd have some crazy idea, either scratched on paper or carved out of a block of wood or something. And when he got a hold of an idea, he didn't let it go. You know, I think sort of brilliant kind of thinkers go through that process. He was he was of that type. He'd come in at noontime and, you know, at five o'clock he wanted to go home. Ray was not ready to go home. He wanted to spend the rest of the evening talking about his idea. And, you know, you'd look at your watch and oh, it's time to go home, Ray. And he, he just kept on going. So we've just been sort of playing his song, you know, really, is what it amounts to over and over again with some modifications. I mean, you, we start every design with a weight estimate and uh, trying to figure out what's it going to weigh, how big a boat, how much bottom do we need for the, to carry the load, you know, and of course getting, getting the weights in all the right places is very, very important, absolutely. If you have a boat, you, you know, that's down by the bow, it's going to going to be wet, it's going to handle badly, it's going to have a whole bunch of problems. So you got, you got to get the trim right, you got to get the weight right, absolutely. It basically, Ray showed that you don't have to have a flat bottom boat to go fast. If, you're, if, the, if the buttock lines of the boat are straight, the boat will plane. And they do, you know. And so they have great directional stability. Have, has lots of dead rise forward, so they have a soft ride. Nobody's really come up with a better practical way to go fast. And I appreciate the serious boats, like the Australian, you know, game fishing boats and the pilot boats, the boats that have to really go to work. So, you know, you took it pretty seriously, you know. So that, that makes it fun, you know, right? <laughs>